You're no longer the girl, the woman that he met. Something is changing, something is shifting, and that man is gonna have to figure out how to be with you in a way in which he doesn't tip you off and hurt the baby. Blessings and blessings, beautiful souls. My name is Preston Smiles, and I am an abundance coach, and this is my garage. And back by popular demand, I am going to speak to you about relationship problems once you find out that you're pregnant and or after the baby gets here and all hell breaks loose for the next year or two. As an abundance coach, it's only right that I have an abundance of children. So for those of you asking yourself, how do you know? I have four children under five. And yeah, for the last five and a half years, we've been pregnant and moving through relational stuff, some really big, heavy things, and having to navigate the shift for both my wife and I in our identities and the things we no longer do and the things that we can do but we have to do in a different way. And so I just want you to know right out the gate that if you are struggling and you're finding this video because you looked it up on YouTube and you're just at a point where you're at a breaking point, this is extremely normal. Today I'm going to speak from the side and the perspective mainly of what I've understood women to be dealing with and going through. If you're in a partnership, share this video and the other ones I've done on this subject with your partner, just so both of you understand that there's somebody, at the very least, who understands what's happening and is not on either person's side, but really is trying to help you make it through. Because I'm not sure if you know this, but 67% uh, of couples break up within the first year of having a baby. So it's a high statistic probability that most people cannot handle the pressure of having a child and what that brings up in both parties. So out the gate, I just want you to know that both partners, the moment you find out you're pregnant, have to instantly adjust. The mother has to adjust faster and more drastically. Her assumption usually is that he gets to keep his life while I have to thrash my body and completely obliterate my identity. And that is, it's partially true when you swipe it re really big. But most men, if he's worth any, anything, one, he, just because you think his life isn't changing, because yours is, now he has to ship with you because you're a unit. Even if you're broken up, you're still a unit. You're having a baby together. It's absolutely beautiful and magical, and your hormones and your mood swings and your morning sickness, all of that stuff, he now has to adjust. You're no longer the girl, the woman that he met. Something is changing, something is shifting, and that man is gonna have to figure out how to be with you in a way in which he doesn't tip you off and hurt the baby. Every time we got pregnant, Alexi felt extremely vulnerable, especially in the third trimester. Sometimes people get pregnant and men don't find themselves as attracted to a woman who's pregnant. I happen to, I, it's like a fetish. I, I love when my wife is pregnant. Some men don't. Some women for certain pregnancies don't wanna have sex and feel like an extra burden because of that. There's many ways to miss each other in this whole thing. And what I want you to understand is it's less about the act and more about continuing to nurture each other's nervous system as you both transform into something else. Each of you was a caterpillar and now you're going through the process of becoming a butterfly and that is an ugly, dark process sometimes. And it may seem like uh, you may start to have resentments towards each other because the, the, the nurturing and the compliments and the, you know, the chores around the house or whatever the case may be, maybe those things have stopped. Men, if they stopped or they aren't occurring in the way that you want them to, share it. I think one of the biggest reasons why people break up is because they withhold. They just hold it. They hold tight and they try to will it, will themselves through it. And you can only do that for so long before you break. So share, hey, I, you don't need to have sex with me, but you, I I would love it if you just told me that I was sexy every once in a while. Hey, you don't need to like, we don't need to do stuff, but it would be awesome if you just grabbed my hand every once in a while and said, I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of you. What an epic man you are. Ladies, let me remind you this. If you don't, no one else will in the whole world. Our friends, guys don't compliment each other like that. This guy is probably killing himself on a subconscious level to try to be 
as successful as humanly possible in five seconds. And if he is not set up, if his business isn't booming, it's an added pressure that you don't know he has. You think he just gets to keep his life. He doesn't. Yeah, he can still go to the gym faster or whatever, or go to the gym when you, when you can't or whatever the case may be. Now, let's even talk about and jump to the baby's here. Right now, all the attention, all the love, all the care, all the anxiety around making sure the baby doesn't die is here. And again, maybe in his mind, he thought, oh, once we have the baby, then things will return. Well, they got worse. They got completely different. It's a whole nother ball game once the baby is here. Cause you're in, you're swimming in the oxytocin. You're so happy that you got this bundle of joy. And yet it's so hard and maybe you're not sleeping. Maybe he's trying to people please and take one for the team and stay up with you all night but then is expected to work and bring home the bacon or whatever the case may be, and he's getting grouchy and, and snippy and snapping at you. Guys, you, you're up against something really big and you can make it through. We made it through. We have four crazy ass beautiful kids and it's still a lot. Last night I was sleeping on the floor. Last night I got up five times and ran into the other room to help to make sure one of the kids is okay. I just, we're just starting this conversation. Please, in the comments below, if anything's landing for you, share it down here and, and then share this with anyone you know who has a child or is pregnant because these are the things nobody talks about. We weren't prepared. Men, if she did, whether she did a C-section, a C-section is a gigantic surgery, or she vaginally had that child and ripped her vagina, her vulva, do you know how traumatizing that is, my man? You gotta, at the very least, give it six to eight months for her to just not feel the pressure. Because every time she pees, she thinks she's gonna have a, like, everything's gonna drop out. She's afraid of what, what, what used to be. Imagine if, if somebody grabbed your penis and just stretched it in ways that it never been stretched before. Imagine if your value in your mind was your body and then your body changes and you have now stretch marks and things of that nature. Homie, this is the time to pour into her 10 times more. And if you have to take yourself sexually take care of yourself don't do it with porn don't do that don't start that track because it's very hard to come out of and if you are in that track get some help get some support get some leverage on yourself again this is a deep conversation I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna stop for now and just say if you're listening to this uh, on my podcast or you're watching this on YouTube the, the biggest thing that I want you to know is you're not alone it's gonna be a process do your best to receive help I know that some of you may have an irrational fear of letting other people help Ooh, this is a whole nother video, but I'm gonna go into it in a second. A lot of times the woman doesn't want anyone to touch her baby because she's that's what she's supposed to do. It's biologically correct. It's an instinct. We no longer have grandmothers and aunties. And so the man is now expected to be an African grandmother and an aunt and the gay best friend and all the other things. And he is not equipped for that. He may not be built for that. Not every man has the same nurturing and understanding that you do but you expect him to. And so this is where the clashes start to come because all he wants to do is go hunt. He's got a family to hunt for, but you want him to stay home all the time and be there for everything. And then when you let him do it, you punish him for not doing the diaper right or, or holding the baby in the wrong way or whatever the case may be. Guys, this is such a big subject. You're not alone. Remember the love between the two of you that made this baby. Even if you already broke up, remember the love. Remember the magic. And the last thing I'm gonna say, this too shall pass. It's gonna, it's gonna be a strong nine to 10 months of you two having to lock arms together and do it as a team. But you'll, you'll get out of it. And then eventually the baby will start to sleep and it'll go into a new stage. The reality is at three years old, you're locked and loaded. Three, three and a half, you're good to go. Love you, appreciate you. I hope this resonated in some form or fashion. Uh, if it did, leave a comment below hit the like button on it so the algorithm knows that it's worthy of being seen and uh, share it with somebody who you think will receive value. Blessings and blessings. Oh, oh, rah!